into the woods, into the woods. We just walked over the culvert right here that leads back to our main cabin, uh, which is up there. And so we came down, and there's our garden we're trying to build right there. And we came across this culvert because we have a creek that runs right here. And so you can hear the water running. And so I have to clean up all this brush, but I cut down some of the brush, the trees that were overhanging here so that we could walk easier. Obviously it needs more cleanup, uh, and we'll get to that. Like These trees here need to come down too, because as you can see, they're just kind of leaning over. So I just want to open it up nice, and then um, we can uh, walk down and right into the woods back here. And this is the easiest way to cross the creek. However, I guess at one time or another, somebody used to come back here and dump their trash, kind of like they've been doing all over the property since if we acquired it, we've been cleaning up garbage and uh, piles and piles. It's everywhere. I think. <laughs> piles of garbage. And piles. It's everywhere. Yeah. Cans. So there's like, yeah, clothes, burn cans. I can feel like I'm standing on like some soft stuff. Yeah, it's the plastic. You can see so, the plastic. Yeah, garbage plastic. Bags. I saw, at least see some aluminum foil in there, and, and lots of like burn cans and metal. A lot of metal there's over there. There's metal back in there. A couple of wheelbarrows. Just going to get you in a little bit closer so you can see. There's a retired wheelbarrow right there. Another one. A kid, like and a plastic wheel. and more plastic over here. So um, there's definitely a lot of more work that we have to a, do. There's a bed spring right yeah, here. Yeah, bed spring. Oh, I see it. You Total see? trip has it. Yeah, you're walking right on I'm it. Walking. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to watch when yeah. I'm walking. Yeah, lift off. your feet. Good. Yeah. So this has to go. And God only knows what's underneath it because it feels very soft. It feels yeah. like some kind of a Lots trap. Of plastic. <laughs> yeah, plastic. Okay, and this then half burnt wheelbarrow. Yep, yeah. more junk. And then there's so. like some, some wires over here. So be careful. Yeah, yeah I see that. Right, right. Um, um, but that's the clean. I don't want to walk underneath the tree because of spider webs. So I'm going to walk that way. Yeah, I this tree you. here is huge. It's old. Yeah. It's beautiful. She's beautiful. Not sure what uh, type of tree it is, but... She's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, we'll cut down some uh, of the lower nice branches tree. so we can walk underneath it. And that yeah. would be really... Because, I mean, it, it would be a nice walking path if you turn around and show everybody. I mean, if we open this all up and just leave the bigger trees... Yeah, because we came from over there and came across this culvert. This is the creek right here. Right. By the way, let me show you. So yeah, yeah so we we have a nice clearing to come out here and Go and then there's the nothing woods. but like woods for miles behind us. So and then no neighbor behind us. And then here is one of the creeks and it's flowing pretty good. There's the cabin up at the top. So we have water. It's always flowing and it's very close. If we ever need it for emergencies, we have water we can collect. Cleaning up back here is going to be a big deal. I'm just looking yeah, at all the disgustingness and yes. how deep down it must go. Yeah, because, because I'm mushy. It's all mushy. It's, mushy. Yeah. it's not solid. Yes. And it's right. sad. But yeah. at least. It doesn't seem to really go past the tree 
to the culvert, so at least it's only this area. Um, it doesn't really right. seem like there's any garbage up in there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have, and we'll cut down all so, these scraggly trees in the Yeah, middle. this one here yeah. in the middle, this this thing needs to go. Yeah. That well, just that doesn't belong. The larger trees. I yeah, mean, absolutely. Uh, I like the idea of having the tunnel, but this is like right in the middle, right so the, the middle. path, so we'll take that down. Yeah. Because you could totally drive like a four wheeler back here, or a four wheel drive vehicle. I mean, it's, it's definitely wide enough. Yeah. Um, but you need a good four wheel drive for sure. That, that's, um, that's a future project, coming back here and cleaning. And it's yeah. nice because look, we have the same, these are the evergreen bushes that are in the front of the house. They're growing back here, so this yeah. is nice. So we'll right. have some evergreen. Yep. Okay, so we'll come and clean all this up. Yeah. Wire. Okay. And you know, we've been through here, we've done a lot of clearing and cleaning. Oh, right. right. All back in through here. And um, for a couple of years now, ever since we moved in. Yeah, we Anyways, we're, we're, we just had our two year anniversary. We're going to be collecting these types of rocks. They are kind of flatter. Show everybody, Vivi. Turn it on its side. Mm -hmm. So you, and you can, can see, see they're not too thick. And if I can find them that size, they're even a little bit bigger, that yeah. are not too thick. That's what we want for our uh, fire place for our stone heart that we were doing for our stove. So we're picking up those types of stones and um, these are like fragments, those are not ideal. Yeah. There's one right there maybe and look there's a bunch over here Yeah. Well. and then there's some here that I had already set aside. Uh, so we're going to just pick those up and just start gathering as many of these as we can. Right. All right. Good deal. I know that they're far in between once you start going into the woods yeah. here, but we'll have to just be patient and find them. All righty. So, you know, it's nice to have the weekend with the wifey. Yes, it's nice yeah. to have the weekend with the hubby. And it's, you know, it's a little muggy today, but it's overcast and it's not too hot. Um, so, it'll be a nice day to spend in the woods. <laughs> we yeah, I wish we could find some mushrooms. It's mm. not like we haven't had rain. The but only mushrooms I don't we see saw yeah. were the Indian pipes. Those yeah. are the only mushrooms we've seen thus far. Well, and we had, we did have some gallerinas growing out of the hay. Oh, that's not... Yeah, yeah those are, you don't want those poisonous right? gallerinas. Stay away from the gallerinas. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I, and I, we have mosquito spray, but uh, bug spray and stuff. But I can still see the mosquitoes flying around me. But yeah. you know, we're right next to water. We're in the, the trees here. It's humid. It's not that humid. I have to say, it's, it's considering. It's July and other places are scorching. I just hit a spider web. <laughs> um, considering other places are scorching right now, I would say uh, we're doing well. It's very comfortable. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, well, we could. I'm just kind of looking to the sides to see if I see anything, you know? No, I don't you know? see anything else. I don't even see rocks over here. Oh, I know where we should go if we want to look for chanterelles. It's on the other side of the property. Oh, yeah, by the goats? By, by the, the behind goats. the cabin. Yeah. Do you want to go look there? I thought we were looking for rocks. Uh, you want to look for mushrooms instead? We gotta, we've well, got the we buckets got, almost full, yeah, so I mean, that's that, fine. Let's go look for It's not a ton, but it's, a, it's 
it's something. It's a start. So let's go look for a gallon bucket, huh? So I mean, not rocks. Let's go look for the mushrooms. We got yeah. enough rocks. We'll bring the bucket back to the. Yeah, court. I'm trying to rest my shoulder a little bit anyway because you know. I've been uh, pushing quite a bit lately, but. Okay, well, let's go back. Let's get the bucket and then um, the only we'll look way to for be... the mushrooms behind the cabin. Uh, yeah, I see a bunch of molds growing everywhere. So we're probably going to have more mushrooms in the next few days. I think that's Billy barking. It sounded like Billy. Yeah. I like walking in the woods. Yeah. It's very peaceful. Alright, so obviously we need to do a lot more cleanup. And all these trees here, I have to come and take care of all this. These spider webs are just annoying. To where we were before. Yep, yep. Now we go could go every kind of direction, but okay, I'm um, gonna go get the bucket and bring the bucket to the culvert so we can go to behind the cabin and look at some more mushrooms. Go ahead. Tell you what, those spider webs love my forehead. Okay. Well, we got a bucket full of rocks, and it's free rock. I can't carry it. And then we got that one there that's kind of large, but it's flat, and I can I definitely can't pick it up. use it. Oh yeah, I know that. So. You have to leave it. <laughs> yep. We want to chill a little bit too and enjoy, you know, some of what we're doing and what we've been doing and some of ponder, what we're doing and what we've been ponder, doing. Ponder about. You know the future and yeah, we just want to enjoy life and everything. Enjoy life. Oh, bug in the eye. Bug in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> there are bugs out here. Oh for my sure. goodness! Yeah, there are bugs the out here for sure. Um, yeah, let's go look at the yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, but let's you know we got there. some buckets. Oh, but if it rains, it's going to get filled with water, and then that's going to be a mess. That's okay. Let it. It'll wash the the rocks because okay. actually I need them wet when I do the concrete work. So, there you go. There's one here, but I might have that was to... Dug deep. Deep yeah, deep. I'll have to come with my shovel for some of them because it's just the way it's going to have to be. Um, like that one there is a good one. Yeah. That's not dug, that's right there. You should be able to... Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Those good size rocks. All right. Well, even this one would be good. We could have done the whole entire thing in quartz, okay. but we don't, okay. I'd rather just uh, stick with the rock. Look, this is, this, this is a good one because it's flat on that side. Yeah. And quartz tends to be too round anyway. So I'd rather have flatter stones if possible. Ooh. That's a, a badger hole or a oh. groundhog hole. Look at how big that is. Oh yeah, it's a big hole. Oof. And it goes all the way, it comes oh, out I over there. Oh, I see it over there too, yeah. Well, I mean, it's right by the water, so there's a lot of Let's different... Let's cross over here. We have our boots on. Uh-huh. What do you want to do? Just cross oh, over cross here. here. Okay. Outdoor kitchen on that little hump there. Yeah, right there. So they'll be mm -hmm. right across from each other. Right, and the then cabin the cabin is right there with the large big deck. Mm -hmm. It looks great. I'm very happy with the way it turned yeah, out. Yeah, it came out really nice. It's beautiful. And guys, uh, if you want to refer back to uh, some of our previous videos, one of the videos I actually showed the plans that I drew. Um, it, you know, just little plans, so I had kind of an idea of what I was going to do. And most everything was 
basically working around the windows that we were able to buy for ten dollars a window right so we had these windows five windows and we wanted to build something that you know in a way that we could fit those windows and so we went with this 12 by 16 cabin mm -hmm. and uh, the deck itself is separate from the cabin it's uh, they're det completely detached separate footings and everything but um, the deck itself is a 12 by 20 and yeah. yeah all the windows really let the outside in when you're sitting inside the cabin you feel like you're in a tree house you don't feel like you're in a building because you have so many windows all you see are the trees and the sky it's it's beautiful it really is yes let's go find some mushrooms yes let's go find some mushrooms back in there you found the mushrooms Oh, it's on the other side. I think we better go from the other side because otherwise you, you got to. You, you know where they we are. We could. Uh, Mike could walk through here. We might could. Let's see. Because you never know. It's too dark in there. It doesn't really get Oh light. no, no, no! The other side. Oh, trust me. I found a bunch of. Uh, oh, that's where the tool was. I need to get that. I'm gonna put it on the deck. Yeah, I need that because it's got a little longer reach than my other cheap ones. So we're still in the process. We haven't finished that yet. So if you wondered uh, what happened with that, it's we haven't finished yet. And I'm following you. I don't know where you found the mushrooms. Yeah. Awesome. Chanterelles and oops, another spider web. Hold on. There's some big ones. I tell you, this is a. Uh, see that, guys? Good boy, Cooper. I want to show you. This is a beautiful, beautiful chanterelle. Here's another one. All right. Here's another one. So we have. Just pull him right. There's a bolete, but it's a Satan bolete. Yeah. So we're not going to get that. But I know there's a bunch there behind you. I got to get all of those. You want to yeah. just make your shirt and or how do you want to yeah, do this? I'll hold the camera and Okay, yeah, and you here. I think we might actually have some still dried in the pantry. Yeah, but I want to know where I'm going to put them because we don't have anything. We have to go get something. <laughs> Look at this. They're everywhere. Like, there's a whole bunch behind me over there. I need to still get to. Okay. You hear Cooper? He's knocking over his bowl. All right. So, well, we need to, again... Um, Just get whatever you could pick and then, I mean... No, I mean, I can't. There's too many. You don't understand. <laughs> See? As many as I can pick. Yeah, and just leave the other ones that are in the trees so they can spread their spores and grow up more of a... of a mushroom ring. Oh, they'll grow more. Yeah. The spores are in here. Look at that handful of beautiful chanterelles. Isn't that beautiful? You could tell they're chanterelles. You can tell they're chanterelles because of the way the stem connects straight into the gills. It's yes. one solid piece. And the smell is incredible. Yeah. And then they're slightly concave mm. in the middle and then they look like flowers. Woodsy. Yeah. It's beautiful. mushrooms, homegrown potatoes, chicken milanese, and jasmine rice. Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing good. 
we're doing good just very busy as usual and you know today we're doing the yard because it needs a really really bad we have a jungle growing out here see that we have some old stumps underneath there and all that all that stuff, all those weeds grow around it. So I got my weed eater ready. I have a new head on it. And so I'm ready to go. I also have to chop down all those weeds that are trying to come back. We had all this land cleared, a good portion of it, including in through there. We had it all cleared by a local gentleman that does that for a living. And he has the machines. And he came and in a few hours he cleared a lot of the land for us and so I kind of want to give you an idea because I have actually been using uh, the riding mower to go through here and, and mulch and chop all this down because all of this was pretty overgrown so I did this like a week ago it's already growing back but uh, we're planning on doing something over here I, we're thinking like an outside kitchen and uh, we also want to put in a bathhouse with a shower and we're going to be putting in a well we have the pump and the tip already for the well we just have to get the all of the fittings and all of the pipes inch and a quarter i believe it is and uh, drive them down with the t-post driver that we have drive those down several feet under but we have a creek right here so I think we're, we're going to be able to do it. I think we'll be able to hit water, uh, pretty shallow water, and that's fine as long as it has a continuous supply of water. And we do because this creek here and also the other creek that we have on the back of the property in, in the woods there, uh, they both are constantly running creeks. They're not huge creeks, but there's a constant flow of water.
for your close up. Such spooks. too long. Alright, so 
if you remember last time we had all these rivets that I had to bust out I gotta do this too so that I can try and reuse repurpose this last uh, elbow piece over here so uh, it looks like there is only one rivet holding it in place so I'm hoping once I bust that out I should be able to get it right out I just did. I just did. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Like magic. So we'll slip this back on the piece I just cut. Uh, because obviously it was too long now. So we're going to slip this on and then later we'll buy some attachment to extend it. We'll figure something out because we definitely have to uh, redirect the water as far away from the building as we, as we can. So we got the gutter and the downspout mounted. Uh, I was able to put a screw in there and it's holding pretty tight and this one I just filled the hole and that's holding pretty tight too. It's not moving and then I have it uh, coming down and then I made this uh, strip of metal with the leftover uh, gutter, the uh, downspout that I cut with my nippers right here. And so I made this and then I put a screw on either side to hold it and it holds it very tight. I don't think I need more than one, especially since it's also secured at the top. We're going to be putting a whole new gutter system down the road. So, but for now, the gutter is back.